The Joyful Lunch with DJ PMC. Hello, what's going on? It's your one and only Fumukazi Bomb, the winner of the best female rapper right here in Africa. And I'm about to have an interview with PMC on Joy of Lunch. So, edit you crazy for this one. Yeah, I'm so strong. Kaboom! Boom, boom, boom. Bomb shit. Yeah. Every time I drop a verse, I move bodies like I drove a hearse. A big fat rubber band in my purse. If you want chat to me, Liza Jumbo versus I salute Queen Cutie, but beauty. I still shoot when I'm footing, I'm footing. Cute girl and I'm footing, my booty. I've always been the twisted, the head, no vicuti. Uh, drip, drip on a society, don't ya? I've any man I go ahead, never gone ya. Drip, drip on a society, don't ya? Testing, Tamanga, I got a win. Put that on everything. Yeah. 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 Like a TV, 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 TV. Our today's guest right here on Joy FM on another Joyful Lunch. Trust me, this is gonna be another edition with our very own. So before we get to do this, this is what we do to our guests usually. Uh before we get to Shells in the studio right now. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Aish, I almost thought you were not going to make it for this interview. Why? You are an award winner. <laughs> <laughs> Some so people nice. even say when people get to make it big, they even stop picking up people's calls. No, 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 come on. But for me, uh, it just humbles me even more. Yeah? Yeah. How have you been? I've been good. I've been great. Not too yeah. bad at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But how's everything going? Let, let's let's start with this year, 2021. Mm-hmm. A brief highlight on how you can maybe describe your year this year. This year has been with a lot of ups, a lot of downs too, but I kept pushing, you know. And every, every situation that I went through just made me push and push and keep pushing. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'll describe this year. But God has been good this year. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Like, no lie. Yeah. It has been great. Amazing. Let, let, let's talk about some of the songs that you did drop this year, 2021, maybe, mm-hmm. just just in case someone missed out. Oh, well, so I dropped Lockdown. I dropped uh, Good Times. I dropped Assassin. Mm-hmm. And now I'm about to drop my album. And all those singles are going to be on my album. Fumukazi. Fumukazi. Aish. The branding and also the artwork that we've been seeing on social media. Uh, they tell so much. Uh, but let's talk about the other thing, uh, which is also I want to get to find out from you. Mm-hmm. Were you expecting... <laughs> were you expecting it everybody, to... Everybody's asking that question. Yeah, like were you expecting it to happen the way it did? No. I'm or maybe you lie. felt like an underdog. I underrated? Felt, I felt very underrated. There's a time I actually posted on my Facebook saying underrated, but I don't know what else I put. But I was like, I, I keep pushing, something like that, because I've I've been quite underrated for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, even just how people would have their comments on, like, how can she win? There's one girl who came being so personal, you're never going to win this and whatever. Mm-hmm. And I just looked at that and I'm like, okay, well, ish, if I win, I win. I don't win, psh, it doesn't happen. Yeah. But look at me now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that girl can see now what's going on right there. She's definitely seeing uh, I was doing a research about uh, the same awards, uh-huh. the bigger awards, yeah. uh, just in case Zambians, some Zambians don't know about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's always, always this tendency of thinking because someone from Zambia has won an award, then it's not something that is big. Yeah. I don't know where this notion has been coming from. That's weird. That's weird. Those are international awards. Like, we had all these big African artists on. Whiskey won the most, and he even posted his gratitude and the wins and all that kind of stuff. And Whiskey is a very big um, artist currently. And I was alongside Olami Day, yeah. who was voted as the best rapper in Africa, male rapper. So all those things, it's an opening for internationality. You know what I mean? For anybody that didn't know Bombshell now internationally, they have an idea like, okay, who is Bombshell? Yeah. Who is this female? And I had all these great MCs with me on that list competing against, and I got to win. It's a big deal. But salute to all the women who are by, on that list. They are beasts on the mic just yeah. as well. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's talk about Nexus as well. Uh, your label, which is you are signed under. Yeah. Maybe let's talk about how it is going so far for you this year, being signed under Nexus. Well, it's been great being signed under Nexus. I mean, they've made quite a lot of uh, of my work easier. 
um, when it comes to shooting videos, going about, transportation and all that kind of stuff, they've made it easier. I mean, it's definitely a place where dreams come true and they're making so many, they've changed so many artists' lives, especially the upcoming artists. I mean, they've not had to struggle like we had to struggle when it mm -hmm. comes to music, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, they're there to give you that muscle and push you. So Nexus... Big shout out, they're doing a great job. Yeah, mm. I would like to get your perspective in regards with something that I saw on social media. I'm not gonna mention any names, but mm. uh, someone wrote something on their social media saying it's funny how Zambian artists uh, think they are taking over by using other countries' sound. Okay, this is not my opinion. Uh, like I'm a piano, we have to come up with our own sound that will help oh, us bring Grammy comment. home someday. We need that sound, Chandana K Mumbayachis. So many names were mentioned right there. Even if you're doing an international collaboration, let us try by all means uh, something with our own sound. So this person did tag Nexus Music and for getting KMP. Uh, with this idea, we can sell our own match respect. I don't know what you think about that. If he thinks in those lines, there's also another person who's thinking in those lines. Exactly. There is. I mean, I, I don't, I don't refuse much, as in to say we should have our own sound. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you, if you hear my songs, my my lyrics, I still add in my mother tongue. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I feel it's all about mother tongue, because at the end of the day, rap music, like genetically, it began in the USA. Mm -hmm. That's why a whole lot of us started doing music. This whole stuff started in the USA. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, look at me talking about my album, to being Fumukazi. Right now, everybody out there is gonna be like, "What's in Fumukazi?" Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When it actually means African royalty. So what that guy is saying for me, yeah, I kind of agree with him, but at the same time, no. I feel Zambians are really embracing their sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, we have songs that may sound, maybe the beat may be from the other end, but at the same time, we're still infusing it with our own local, our own juices. Because music started from somewhere. And that's why we're all doing music today. Mm -hmm. You understand? A whole lot of us are doing music because of Americans. That's just the truth. We can't run away from that. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have Mumbaiachi, but if you hear him doing a beat, this he infuses African. Together, we're still the modern. He will, I'll have Mumbaiachi on a song, like I have Say Mode Me. I was rapping, he was there doing the chorus. People will hear that and they're like, okay, so there's this girl, she sounds like this. And there's a guy who's doing Vanak. Okay, that's nice. They'll hear me rap and there's certain words I may say. Like I saw some guy from, um, where, where is it? Brazil. Mm -hmm. He did like a whole... Like, he, he looked at lockdown and he was giving it, uh, what do you call that thing that these guys do on YouTube, where they they rate a song. Yeah, reaction. And, yeah, the reaction. And he loved the song. And he was like, you know what, I can't hear my of the thing she's saying, but this is killer. But I used a lot of Nyanja in that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I feel a whole lot of us are embracing our mother tongue. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, nothing is new under the sun. We all started music, majority, because the Americans started it. Yeah. Especially rap. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The other thing that I would like us to talk about right now is how are the sales going so far? I know this is like a new thing that is coming on scene. People mm. buying music. Yeah, I, I love the fact that now we are all getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, if I was to tell you, to be honest with you, if I was to tell you that I just got myself a boom play just this year oh, yeah? <laughs> on my app. Are you just serious? for example, for me just to start streaming music because... Yeah. Uh, I saw how many people were talking about it because yeah. I, I just wanted to be the first to listen to a couple of Zambian songs. Mm -hmm. Not because I didn't know about it. I knew about it, but nothing. <laughs> I had just maybe just to convince me to go on stream music. But now everyone's taking that step. Uh -huh. Are you happy with how the streaming is going so far in Zambia? I think so far so good. It's going there. Baby steps, but it's getting there. I mean, people are getting a million streams and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? It's good. Yeah. Slowly, it is getting there. Others may still not understand because, yes, I can go just on WWMP3 Juices and get a, a free song. You know about it. <laughs> 100%. Okay. How am I not going to know about WWMP3 Juices? I know about it. I ain't yeah. going to lie. Yeah. But slowly, it's getting there. Slowly. I'm not going to say streams are going to make you wealthy in Zambia, no. But that, that's working for our friends out there. So that's why the aim needs to be international. We need to get more people out there broaden our, 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 ourselves to get more streams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Zambia as itself is a small country as it is. So you yeah. can't say, I'm going to depend my music career on my streams in Zambia. No. Yeah. No. Let's talk about companies as well. Are they embracing you guys who are local renowned artists and making sure that they put you as brand ambassadors to some extent? Uh, well, I... Um, I'm or quite, maybe, I'm you, an, I'm maybe you feel there's more that needs to be done. 
Personally, for myself, I've been doing quite well when it comes to my brand. I have quite a number of these um, companies that have endorsed me, you know. I think there are. And even international artists, like how Guinness reached out to me to be their, 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 their voice for their ads. Mm-hmm. That was like, what? Guinness? Guinness is huge. Tanqueray. These are huge uh, brands and they're reaching out. So I feel they are putting us up. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's working quite well. I've seen quite a lot of artists as well doing a lot of, um, you know, marketing, being ambassadors, influencers. So they are putting us up like I, I wouldn't say they're not. It's definitely not the way it used to be four years back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's do this right now. Our guest on the Joy for Lance's bombshell. Let's go pick up your calls. If you have any question uh, that you'd like to find out from our studio guest right here on Joy FM, call us up on the numbers. You're 977 one six five seven four three on another Jeff Lunch. Uh, the other thing I'd also like to find out uh, is the package for Fumukazi. I know uh, there's always a hashtag. Anything that you post, there's a hashtag of Fumukazi. Okay. That's right. Um, maybe what are we expecting? Well, you're expecting a flavor of everything. It's like it's like eating something that has all flavors that is just gonna burst in your mouth and you feel every type of flavor. I'm not gonna say my album is specifically for this generation or genre no Mm -hmm. it's for everybody every single person and the most is for the women i want every woman to embrace themselves when they get that album and call themselves in fumukazi not just because bombshell calls herself in fumukazi or her album is titled in fumukazi i want every woman to know that they are queens okay Mm-hmm. So do we expect only uh, you featuring uh, or rather working with uh, female artists? Or? Yeah, there's definitely some female artists on uh, the album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's about women power, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I have messages as well already. This one comes to say is uh, big ups to Bombshell uh, representing very us very well. And uh, this one could just go, get to complain then I can't get through. I know. Then I don't know what's happened to the network today. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> shame. But if you can, lucky you. Uh, call us up on the numbers 0977 165 743 or 0953 323 738. Let's, let's let me just get put you on spot right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your current top three songs that you're listening to locally? Local? A day doesn't go without you listening to one of the songs from your top three songs. Local songs, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, a day doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you listen to Zambian music though? No, I do listen to Zambian music. I, I, I'm Teti Mbemboa. I love that song. Okay. J Cash. Uh, J Max. Yeah, J Max. Did I say just to say J Cash? Yeah. J Max. I always confuse the two. Um, House Party Mugawan Room has always been my tune. Okay. I, Till now. Yeah, like I love that song. I love that song. Sheffy just went crazy. I love that song. Okay. That's why I even had to feature in the video. Mm-hmm. Juju Lava Daddy Zimas, legendary. Okay. Brilliant. Throwback. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Amazing>. Strong throwback. <laughs> Strong throwback. I wish I could go on. There's a lot of songs. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, before we call it a rap as well, mm-hmm. uh, there's another thing that I'd like to find out from you. Mm-hmm. Uh, issues to do with piracy. Yeah. Again, mm-hmm. as much as we might talk about uh, streaming music, there's always that one person who's still going to put out your music for free of charge. For example, you have a new song, Good Times with Tim. Yeah. Only to find that Another person has, has uploaded that song on their YouTube. Uh huh. Not because they are doing it for the bad reasons. No. I, I have had a conversation with quite a number of them. Uh-huh. Not forgetting bloggers. Mm-hmm. They explain, <laughs> saying at one point we are approached by these artists to do that. Exactly. I, I, so you can I, I, get I, the song out. Yes. I, I don't know for you. In your case, how has it been for you? Uh, for me, look, I've been in the industry for quite a minute now. It's been like five years ever since I go back. Um, I remember trying to start up. I had no problem with that at all because I thought it actually helped my brand get bigger. It, it, it crossed borders. But obviously, there's a certain extent in your life that you got to reach and now certain things got to stop. But at the level we're at right now in our country, mm, it, that's going to take some time. Mm-hmm. It's going to take some time because it's been, it's been done for the longest time. I remember when I dropped uh, my first video, which was The Berg mm-hmm. by myself. I mean, I dropped other videos with other people, but The Berg, it was all over. And I, I just wished I actually opened a, a YouTube account back then, mm-hmm. but we had no idea mm-hmm. about YouTube. You know what I mean? So this is something that has been going on for a while. So this is something that has to be preached about over and over again, but it's definitely not going to stop anytime soon. But eventually, the message will be clear. Okay. Because a clear one right there. But before I get let you go, mm-hmm. uh, this <laughs> question, is it wrong to have a ghostwriter? I 
I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with having a ghost Do you rider. have one? I have a team, but I come up with the majority of the body works. And then people will come through and see what doesn't make sense, what makes sense, and uh, we put it together. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with having a ghost rider. I mean, these big artists have good ghost riders, like Jay-Z. This big artist, big, big. Because, you know, there are times you tend to be so busy and somebody may just holler at you and say, look, I have a song that I think will fit your, your yourself, you know? And you hear it and you get it. So mm -hmm. what's, what's that? You know what I mean? Yeah. But otherwise, it all has to start with your mind. You got to be good. I mean, somebody can ghost write a song for you and you put your voice in it and it blows up. Still the same. Yeah. That's right. What's the biggest lesson that Bombshell has learned this year, 2021? Not to trust easy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bombshell, it was great having you right, Jojo. Thank you so much. Boss, you ready? Young Boss made this. That's right. Fucking live from the control tower, yo so sour, pressure free, but you